All thanks to Dale Dubnik for recommending me this trick. Don't judge me, I like this voice. Hello everyone, my name is Rado Zaizo and today I'm gonna teach you how to save space by using another encoder for your videos. So, this is a previous project video, the collab happening Saturday morning with a side of tech project. And this is a perfectly paused frame here with me smiling. So, I usually hit File, Export, Media, and then choose H264 here, and match, match everything to the source with high bitrate. The estimated file size is 97 megabytes, because this is a very small video, it's about a minute and a half. If we check the end result it's about 111 megabytes or even 114 megabytes here so what we need to do now is change the encoder from h264 which results in an mp4 video to vp9 which results in a webm video both are uploadable to youtube but only the mp4 can be read from a windows media player you need a codec or a, another player that runs the WebM version of the video. So what you need to do is download the WebM Premiere um, .msi extension which is the VP9 encoder and as soon as you double click that and install it open up Premiere and then hit the format box here and choose WebM. I had a preset named compressor because I like to compress videos and what I essentially did is check these two and check that one as well. Of course, match source with everything. And then here, you'll choose VP9. I choose personally constant bitrate and set the bitrate to 2000 kilobits per second. My camera records at 35 kilobits per second. And the result video after the H.264 encoder is about 11 to 12 megabits per second and so reducing that to 2 will result in a much smaller file notice here it's 111 now it's 21 megabytes now i won't show you how the quality will differ because it really doesn't differ if you put them side by side you will notice a very slight decrease in the bitrate some some kind of pixelation in some places but it's fine my last two videos were uploaded in webm format using the vp9 encoder and by the way rendering in vp9 will take a long time about an hour to make a a small video of like five minutes or so but don't worry it won't consume all your hardware actually the cpu usage was about 20 to 25 percent all the time even when i tried it on my desktop computer nothing overheated, nothing even heated up. I was playing a game while encoding in VP9 because really it doesn't use any resources. It's weird, I know. I have over 300 gigabytes of videos just about YouTube and I got them down to 200 or 150 gigabytes just by using the VP9 encoder. This is a really cool trick for you to compress your videos without losing any quality and keeping them to yourself by using the VLC player to play your videos because Windows Media Player won't. That's it from me today. Be sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to this channel below for more content like this. This was Rado Zaizo on how to save space by compressing your videos using WebM Premiere plugin and the VP9 encoder and I'll see you next Monday.